put the list up so that you all know what we're doing. We've got a singer showcase coming up. It's going to be quite nice. Bruce Barth is going to do a CD release later in the season. Steve Wilson is coming through. Hoping to get Jalil Shaw. I know I've been naming a lot of alto players, but that's only because tonight we are um, really honored to have one of the young emerging voices on this instrument and others, and someone who I think is just a very talented young musician who has a lot to say, whose um, spirit and humanity is very deep, and it's going to grow and emerge from his art as you, as you listen to him and as we follow him on his journey. Um, this music that they are making is for us. Uh, it is from them, but it is for us to figure out our way through these difficult times so that we can connect with one another and connect with ourselves and that we are made whole and made better by it. So um, as I said, I'm terribly excited to have Austin Zhang. And this isn't what he called the group, but I called it this and he let me put it online. This is our music because this is our music. I'm going to let him tell you who's in the band. We'll come back when we take a short break, but let's give it up right now for Austin Zhang. And this is our music.
guys so much for being here. I see some people trickled in while we were playing that tune. That tune was entitled Buckle and for those of you who are new to me and my music, my name is Austin. I have my great friend uh, Dan Finn here on the bass, Michael Shapiro here on the drums. As you can tell we're very comfortable playing with each other on this stage and it's such a joy to bring this music to you guys. Thank you so much to Wayne Winborn, the Institute of Jazz Studies for that warm welcome and for having us here at the great Clemens Place. I'm here today celebrating the release of a debut record of mine. It's called I Am Me. It's available now on Bandcamp, and you can find those links on 
my social media and my website, and I'll give you more information about that later. Uh, but for now, I want to keep the music going. Uh, that was Buckle, like I said. We're going to keep the music going. This is a melody entitled Ideals.
please, another hand for a beautiful bass solo by the great Dan Finn on the bass. <laughs> that tune's always kind of funny to me because for as like kind of pretty and melodic as I tried to make it, it's actually greatly inspired by the, the music of Ornette Coleman. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar, Ornette Coleman is considered the pioneer of free jazz and it's what inspired a lot of uh, my musical journey through, through college and in the past few years of my life. And you know, people tend to think of his music as very, in jazz terms, out, avant-garde, hard to listen to for the average folk. But uh, I always heard him, his music as a man of the blues, as a man of the melody, and as a man of folk. Um, and he combined that with throwing out a lot of other traditions, um, main, mainly form, consistent tempo, thing, musical thing, ideas that were constant in jazz history for a long time. Um, but he always was rooted in a great sense of melody that I always admired. So this is a melody that um, I like to play, <laughs> and it's called Ideals. Um, we're going to continue with some music uh, by some other great composers, because the last two were my own. Uh, and we're going to pay tribute to the great Sonny Rollins with his Freedom Suite. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. I can't say enough great things about my great friend Michael Shapiro on drums. We've gone back since freshman year of college and have got, have we've been through a lot together. <laughs> you can hang with us after to find out more. more but <laughs> it's a blessing to have him on stage with me. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue. I'm going to play another instrument. This instrument is called, the one I'm about to bring up is in kind of a rarity. And it's kind of very much in the Ornette tradition to play a lot of oddball instruments. Yeah, Ornette was famously an alto saxophonist, but he recorded on uh, violin and trumpet and a lot of weird ethnic instruments that I, I probably couldn't name. Uh, but here's an, an alto clarinet. Uh, we're going to continue with that one moment.
How about a hand for Dan Finn on the beautiful bass solo? <laughs> Spare me a moment while I switch horns again.
Thanks so much. The tune right before that I played. Wow, we're really sweating bullets on you. <laughs> but it's all good. We're swaying, we're having fun. The tune before that was a composition of mine called Song for Healing. Uh, yeah, maybe oversharing, but I was kind of honestly pretty depressed during a lot of the parts of the pandemic in 2020 and stuff, and that was a melody that I wrote after I came back to New York and I started getting in the swing of things, and it was, it helped me a lot, and it's a lot of fun to play, and uh, that song for healing. It's on the new record. You can find it on Bandcamp. The record's called I Am Me, and uh, three of the compositions that we played so far are from that record. Uh, the song that we just played is a brilliant tune by the man himself, Ornette Coleman. Yes, a big hand for Ornette Coleman. It's called Broadway Blues, and it's on an album called New York Is Now, which is significant because it was uh, one of two albums where he actually, Ornette actually played with Coltrane's rhythm section with Jimmy Garrison and Elvin Jones. Uh, so it's, you know, it got its own unique feel to it. And it's funny because they play this super swinging head with all sorts of quirky rhythmic things. And then when it gets to the solos, they just play free <laughs> for like 10 minutes and then they play the head out, you know? So I thought it'd be fun to explore what that would have sounded like if they, you know, they played the tune throughout. Um, I mean, this is a kind of a tribute, not really. It's just my inspiration from him. So I, I played the way I want and that's the way we did it. Um, we got probably a couple more for you in this set. Um, yeah, let's keep going. I'll, I'll explain later. Thank you. 
Mr. Dan Finn on the bass. Mr. Michael Shapira on the Big Bad Drums. My name is Austin Zhang, yours truly. Thank you so much for being here. We're about done with our first set of music. Uh, thank you to those who are going to stick around to the second set. We're going to start in, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you so much to Internet Land for tuning in as well. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, it's such a pleasure.
Welcome back to the second set, y'all. This is Clemens Place. I thought we'd start off a little differently than last set. First set, we started off with an original of mine. I've mostly featured myself, and I, today, in the second set, I wanted to feature composition by someone else, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but please give a hand for Dan Finn on the bass. <laughs> Michael Shapira on the drums. That tune you just heard was a composition by an un... In my opinion, a bit of an unsung hero is a tenor saxophonist by the name of Sam Rivers. His most famous uh, record being Fuchsia Swing Song, which featured uh, Ron Carter, Jackie Byard, who's playing? Young Tony Williams on drums. And uh, yeah, very great record. And that song was called Cyclic Episode. He was a very explorative tenor player uh, that I, I think doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, we're going to continue with another composition of mine. This one's called Invisible Cities. And I'm going to go back to the alto clarinet for this one. So please hold.
That one once again featured the band, Dan Finn on the bass, Michael Shapiro on the drums. That was two original compositions of mine. The first one was called Invisible Cities, which I actually didn't name. I kind of like it when other people name my stuff. I have to think a little less, but. <laughs> so that was a, a melody that I wrote. Honestly, it was written a few years ago. I don't really remember too much of the origin, but I played it in the studio with a great young bassist um, from, Philly, from Philly, and he said he read this great book called Invisible Cities, and he thought the, the soundscape of the melody reminded him of the book, so I was like, I'm stealing it. Um, I haven't even read the book, to be honest with you, but I, I trust him. <laughs> that, last <laughs> that last tune was called Tight. Um, it's just how I feel, or I, w I want to play when I hear the great Elvin Jones play all loose and sloppy and trivility and uh, that was tight. It's kind of the opposite of how it sounds, huh? <laughs> and this next tune we're going to play, I believe, is another uh, original of mine. It's entitled Eleven. It's kind of inspired by the tune you heard in the first set, the Ornette Coleman tune, Broadway Blues, uh, and a mix of also uh, Charlie Parker's Cheryl. Uh, yeah, it's a blues. Let's have fun.
Michael Sapir on the drums. <laughs> Always fun. Uh, yeah, so Michael and I have known each other since freshman year of college, and we've started, well, I'll get to that. We've played duo in a lot of school, college pla practice rooms for many hours on end. Wow. Uh, for years and years, we've done that. Uh, for some reason, we never really ended up playing very many gigs together, just always shedding together constantly. Uh, so it's quite a pleasure to be able to st share this stage with him today. Uh, we've consumed copious amounts of Indian food for s some odd reason. We had some obsession with Chapati House near the Manhattan School of Music, and it was just like a, sometimes multiple times a day, it was kind of bad. Uh, but since we've become best of friends and we've started a business together and we've done all sorts of things, so please give a warm hand for Mr. Michael Shapiro. Yeah. I'll say a few words about our, our other friend up here in a moment, but uh, let's continue with the music. Uh, I am you, right? So this, this song is actually uh, the title tra track of the album just released. This is called I Am Me. Um, it came from a poem that I wrote uh, around maybe 19, 20 years old. And I was confronted, you know, as you are at the age, with the realities of the world and things you need to be <laughs> uh, to survive, to make your way. And the sentiment of the poem was kind of like, the last line was, can I be happy and me? You know, it, can I do all the things that I want to do, I need to do in this world and still be true to myself? And that was a big question mark at the time. I've since grown out of that a lot and I've become a lot more confident in my strengths and the things that I enjoy doing. And I've since changed the lyrics of it, which you won't really hear tonight, but you'll feel it hopefully, um, to a place of I have to be me to be happy and we're, we're going to figure out a way. So this is I Am Me. Woo! <laughs> 
That is the wonderful, wonderful composition by the one and only, apparently Newark's own, Wayne Shorter, yeah. entitled Jew Jew. Uh, we've come to the last tune of our set. Uh, I want to say a quick word about my man Dan Finn here on the bass. Uh, he came from Oberlin doing his undergrad. He's from Chappaqua? Chappaqua? <laughs> Some, some town like Westchester County vibe. Uh, <laughs> and who knew such a, such a fine beat could come from Chappaqua, New York. <laughs> so he came to Manhattan School of Music to do his masters. We got to play uh, in an ensemble under the direction of the great pianist Phil Markowitz. And we've been playing in this group, experimenting with tunes. We've been through a lot together. Please give one more hand for Dan Finn. I want to give one more beautiful thank you to the team at Yardbird Entertainment, Peter Lynn, Abel Mireles, Ivania. They've been providing the technology at Clements. They're also my occasional employers, so I'm very <laughs> indebted to them in many ways. And um, they're beautiful people. I owe them a lot. And so it's a pleasure to see them here today. Uh, big thank you to probably my parents and my girlfriend all on the live stream. Uh, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this one you've heard before, but we're going to play it a little different. Uh, this one's from the first set. Um, we're going to take a different spin on it. This is Ideals. Thank you guys so much.
joining us. This is great. He's on band camp, whatever that is. Um, he's got a new CD out called I Am Me. I Am Me, which is kind of close. He doesn't know this, but it's kind of close to um, a South African saying Ubuntu, which is I am because we are. I am because we are. You, I don't exist without the collective. It's a profound statement of humanity, right? So I Am Me is his new recording. A lot of the things you just heard is on there. Go buy it. Support him. I, it, spend the $20, y'all. Stop playing. You just got a, two hours of music for free, so do it. Um, thank you all so very much for coming out. We're going to see you soon in September. Look for all of these young artists. They're young to me. I'm, I don't mean to offend y'all, but if you're under 50, you're young to me. Again, uh, Michael Shapiro on drums, Dan Quinn on bass, Austin Jane. You're going to see him again, y'all. This is our music. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Everybody here, get home safely. We'll see y'all soon. Thank you.